So a lot of people in copywriting don't understand business they're in, don't understand positioning, don't understand that writing words is really the last thing that you do. Writing words is not copywriting. And that's why when people ask me questions like, how long should it be? That's an irrelevant question. If you're meeting people at the peak of their offer market problem solution awareness, you can cut your UX in half. You can cut your UX down to seconds or minutes and instead of a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour videos that neander and tell these long form, old school direct response stories that are no longer needed to convert. Can they convert? Sure. Who cares? We're about converting in the path of least resistance, not the path of most resistance. That's why creating a one hour, a half hour VSL these days is quite frankly being the hamster on the wheel, just doing a lot of busy work when if we position our messaging right and take advantage of what people now expect out of their Facebook ads, we can give them everything they want, need, and deserve to make decisions or understand that a decision needs to be made in a fraction of the time, in no time. All right. So right here on my screen is Chat GPT. Now, I'm asking Chat GPT basic questions about an ingredient. Basic questions about an ingredient, Antarctica, right? Now, I can make a video just like this for an ad. And I can talk about, so everybody is talking about this new ingredient, Antarctocene. Cosmetic companies have been looking for this glycoprotein or an ingredient like it for years, decades, heck, over a century. There's not a cosmetic ingredient that can help protect and restructure our skin matrix more than this ingredient. And it's clinically proven. Not only that, this can help replace toxic sunscreens, y'all. Toxic sunscreen. In fact, 80% of sunscreens contain SPF ingredients like avobenzone that are toxic to human skin. They degrade the moment UV touches them and then produce more free radicals than the UV it's supposed to protect you again. So something that's supposed to protect you from accelerated premature rapid aging is actually the reason you have wrinkles, dark spots, discoloration, uneven skin tone, sagging, crepey skin. It's because elastin and collagen are being eaten, being depleted by not just UV, but your sunscreen. And Arcticine creates a chiroprotective layer around the skin barrier, helping protect DNA. I can do a whole ad off of this. I can also have this ad playing in the back of my green screen. I can just use TikTok green screen and have their video, the video green screen or the video or the uh, picture green screen going on, highlighting, uh, protect skin DNA damage caused by UV radiation. So have those things dynamically moving and highlighting behind me as I'm speaking the copy, as I'm bullet pointing myself, storyboarding myself, and getting down a very fast sales message. Fast sales message because of positioning. By entering the conversation, talking about toxic sunscreen or the one ingredient cosmetic companies have been trying to get their hands on for a hundred years because of how it can restructure the skin, how it can generate new collagen and elastin, unlike any ingredient cosmetic companies have been trying to get their hands on for a hundred years. How I can enter the conversation at the Kakadu Plum and how we're neutralizing free radicals faster than they're being created or generated in response to UV exposure. I can have that playing behind me. I can do it like this, like I'm doing right now, and make ads that are native, ads that are real content. And 
this is also doing something that copywriters today who came in with the biz op mentality or are looking for templates, just something you don't understand that this is how easy it is to make ads when you know how to position ingredients, how to position an offer, how to position a conversation so that you get more people to raise their hands, how to hit the key, the, the peak of, of controversy in a conversation so that you can compete in an overly saturated competitive market and own it. Actually leverage all of that spend by hitting the peak of awareness they're helping create. And in this case, we're hitting the peak of awareness that you're supposed to wear sunscreen. But what if your sunscreen is causing more premature rapid aging than not wearing it at all? Because it is. This is real. This isn't come up with a an angle, a big idea, a hook that's going to scare people. This is the real deal. And I could tie it down to lipid peroxidation, how our actual cell membranes are being damaged. We're losing moisture. Like the cells are actually even pop like a balloon, leaking moisture, hydration, and all the bad stuff's getting in so that these cells mutate faster, causing more free radical damage. So uh, the wrinkles, dark spots, discoloration, sagging, grapey skin. And I can tie it all down to avobenzone, which is what I have been testing. So just by using this in the background dynamically, it's bringing to life everything that I'm talking about and helping, helping people read between the lines as they're listening to me so that everything's being said in 60 seconds rather than 30 minutes or 60 minutes just by meeting people at the peak of offer market problem solution awareness and hitting a key point in controversy that makes people self-identify, makes them raise their hand. And I can execute this and have been executing the visual and even some of the production for quicker, faster, effective testing. This is how it's done. And I don't, I don't need to do a podcast style VSL. I could do it just like this, or I could do a podcast style VSL talking about this in a split screen. Maybe with somebody taking notes, playing the role of the prospect. What do y'all think?